And now for this week's State of Trade in Star Citizen. 3.10.2 was pushed to live last week. This patch fixed an issue where ships purchased in-game were not saving to the database. This latest patch rectified the issue and also restored ships purchased during patch 3.9. The 2950 Ship Showdown has been announced. While it has no bearing on trade at the moment, there is a high chance for it to temporarily affect trade in the future. Last year's Ship Showdown had the Caterpillar available for freefly, giving players access to the hauler during the event. Traders looking to utilize this top tier ship are encouraged to submit their own creations inspired by the Caterpillar to secure a ballot for it once again. Any ship listed in the tournament bracket is guaranteed to appear on the freefly list during the event. Players are encouraged to submit creations inspired by the Caterpillar to help secure temporary access. Here at State of Trade, we have received feedback that the information provided during the market data portion can be hard to follow. With this in mind, we are going to take this episode to experiment slightly with how we report trade data and hopefully make it more accessible to a wider audience. With that said, let's proceed to last week's market data. Last week saw unusually high movement of most commodities. While a trading boom is typical after a new patch, the surge continued well throughout the week, with prices only dropping during late night or early morning hours. The larger than usual surge in trade may be attributed to the restoration of in-game purchased ships, increasing confidence in players working towards major purchases. In the metals market, Agrisium sees the usual price hikes and supply shortages. Agrisium has a rarely seen base price of 22.50 and sells for 27.50. In Microtech, McGrath on Clio saw Agrisium reach 23.57. Around Arccorp, SAL2 on Lyria saw a price of 23.74. In Crusader, Arccorp 141 on Daymar reached 24.78. Kutra Or on Daymar saw a similar 24.39. With such a high buy-in and low stock, consider passing on Agrisium for the time being. Titanium continues to experience higher than usual prices at all locations. Titanium has a base price of 7.10 and sells for 8.90. Around Hurston, Lathan and Bezdek on Ariel range between 7.30 to 7.80, making both locations a gamble on decent pricing. Near Arccorp, SAL2 on Lyria reached 7.94. SAL5 on Lyria reached 7.82, while Humboldt Mines topped out at 7.56. The surge in pricing at Humboldt indicates more traders willing to visit the location. In Crusader, Tram and Meyer sees a predictable price of 7.93. Near Microtech, McGrath Research on Clio surged to 7.97. Such high numbers put titanium on par with gold, so double check the price before purchasing the commodity. Speaking of gold, the metal sees surge pricing in only two systems. Gold has a base price of 5.41 and sells for 6.41. Around Crusader, deposits at Shubin SCD1 on Daymar reached 5.90. Kudra Or on Daymar reached 5.81. Around Microtech, SMO18 on the planet itself held to the base price of 5.41. Caltech research on Calliope surged to 5.83. Around Hurston, deposits on Aberdeen held to a base of 5.41. Near Arccourt, Humboldt Mines on Lyria holds to a base price of 5.41. If you are trading gold, move to the Hurston or Arccorp system and leave Microtech and Crusader behind. Tungsten saw only minor price spikes throughout the week. Tungsten has a base price of 3.55 and sells for 4.06. The Microtech system sees Caltech research on Calliope reach 3.72, with SMCA8 reaching 3.57. In Crusader, Arccorp 141 on Daymar sees a surge of 3.75. Kudra Or sees 3.71 with Shubin SCD1 seeing the weekly high of 3.80. All Damar locations experienced regular shortages of the commodity. 
all outposts around Arcorp and Hurston held to base prices throughout the week. Aluminum saw no notable changes this week. Aluminum has a base price of 1.11 and sells for 1.33 UEC. Due to low profit, freighting aluminum is hardly worth it. All outposts featuring aluminum held to base pricing. Legal Vice sees new developments with distilled spirits. A new outpost has been discovered that sells the commodity. Called Shady Glen Farms, this outpost is located on Walla. It is an unmarked location, requiring a personal delivery mission to find. Traders looking for cheap distilled spirits would do well to investigate this location. On to numbers, distilled spirits has a base price of 4.06 with a sell price of 5.56 at major ports. This price is rarely seen in usual trade lanes. Around Microtech, Bud's Growery on Euterpe has the lowest public option at 4.16. Crusader prices were staggeringly high this week, with Bountiful Harvest on Daymar surging to 4.60. On Selen, Gillette Family Farms rose to 4.63, and Terra Mills reached 4.65. Stems saw a drop in movement last week. Stems has a base price of 2.80 and sells for 3.86 at major ports. In Crusader, all locations supplying Stems kept to a base price of 2.80. In Microtech, Cantwell on Clio was the only deviation reported, raising slightly to 2.84. Medium-sized haulers on a budget may do well hauling Stems to planetary ports. Gases see an uptick in movement with last week's numbers. Astatine sees increased movement at all outposts. Astatine has a base price of 7 and a sell price of 9 at major ports. However, the base price was rarely seen as many traders shifted to moving the gas. On Microtech, SMO22 surged to 7.84. SMO10 saw a similar price of 7.85. On Calliope, SMCA6 reached 7.77. In Crusader, Benson Mining on Yela had a low of 7.75. Arcorp 157 on Yela kept to a usual 7.93. The most surprising surge was on Eda, where Woodruff rose to a rarely seen 7.68. Ryder on Eda rose to 7.58 as well. Around Arcorp, Loveridge on Lyria surged to 7.83. Artcorp 056 on Walla kept to 7.50. Surprisingly, Artcorp 061 stayed near 7.01. This price can be attributed to its supply cap of 300 SCU, keeping most larger traders away. Medium haulers such as Starfarers and Smaller may do well to take advantage of the location. Fluorine saw a continued movement this week. Fluorine has a base price of 2.35 and a sell price of 2.95. While the buy price stayed low at all outposts, the sell price dropped considerably at Deacon's Research, Grim Hex, and Port Olisar. Usually at 2.95, these ports drop to the low 2.80 range due to heavy traffic, as more traders discover the benefits of a cheap fluorine run. Chlorine saw only minor movement last week. Chlorine has a base price of 1.3 and a sell price of 1.71. There were no notable changes to chlorine last week. Hydrogen sees minor movement around Crusader once again. Hydrogen has a base price of 0.90 and a sell price of 1.12. In Crusader, Arcorp 157 on Yela rose slightly to 0.94 with Benson seeing similar increases. All other locations held to base pricing. Iodine sees no notable movement. Iodine has a base price of 0.35 and a sell price of 0.45. The mineral market continued its usual surge last week. Laranite continues to see supply shortages and heavy surges in pricing, as many traders refuse to seek alternative commodities. Laranite has a rarely seen base price of 24.10 and a sell price of 31.01. .01. Around Artcorp, Artcorp 045 on Walla reached 27.48, with Artcorp 056 on Walla 
seeing 27.78. Around Hurston, Best Deck on Ariel rose to 27.75. Its sister location, Lathan, reached a similar 27.79. In Crusader, Trapman Myers had a price of 27.74. With supply hard to come by and the profit margin being lower than usual, it might be worth skipping Laranite for the time being. Diamond sees typical movement. Diamond has a base price of 5.85 and a sell price of 7.35. Around Microtech, SMO13 soared to a price of 6.30. Deltana Research on Microtech saw a somewhat lower price of 6.03. Several outposts on Hurston moved between the base price of 5.85 and 6.13. On Magda, Han rose slightly to 6.06, .06, with Perlman keeping to a base of 5.85 or near. Around Artcorp, Shuban SAL5 surged to a staggering 6.24. Artcorp 056 on Walla hovered at 6.23. In Crusader, Tramon Myers on Selen held firm to a base price of 5.85. However, the sell price at Port Alisar and Grim Hex regularly saw lows into the 6.80 range, and even met their demand on several occasions. Corundum saw no notable movement this week. Corundum has a base price of 2.30 and a sell price of 2.71. Barrel continues to see regular traffic in Crusader. Barrel has a base price of 4.06 and a sell price of 4.35. In Crusader, deposits at ArtCorp 141 on Daymar reached a shockingly high 4.14. Deposits at Kudra Ore on Daymar also experienced a minor increase. Once again, State of Trade would like to remind traders that Barrel has the lowest base profit margin of all commodities and nearly any other commodity listed at locations with barrel will bring a higher income, especially when surge pricing is taken into consideration. Quartz sees no notable movement this week. Quartz has a base price of 1.25 and a sell price of 1.55. Scrap sees a surprising slowdown at some locations. Scrap has a base price of 1.35 and a sell price of 1.86. In Crusader, Grim Hex over Yela continues to see pricing averaging 1.54. However, Crew L1, the next closest source of scrap, fell to base pricing several times throughout the week. The lack of interest in scrap may reflect traders moving on towards higher profitable routes or shifting their focus to Grim Hex now that it can support large ships via its recent hangar additions. Medical supplies continue to surge at all locations. Medical supplies have a rarely seen base price of 15.75 and a sell price of 19.25 at major ports. Around Microtech, Cantwell research on Clio surged to 17.23. Anvic research on Calliope saw a similar 17.17 .17 in Crusader, Deacon's research on Yela rose to 16.97, while Hicks' research on Selen experienced a low of 16.70. With medical supply seeing high prices at all locations, it may be best to skip on this commodity for the time being. Processed food sees no notable movement. Processed food has a base price of 1.21 and a sell price of 1.56. Agricultural supplies also see little movement and has a base price of 1 UEC with a sell price of 1.20. And now for next week's forecast. Trading should start to cool off overall during the week, especially for titanium and astatine. Take advantage of the two during off-peak hours. Artcorp 061 is a good source of astatine for medium haulers. Accept the personal delivery mission near Artcorp to visit Shady Glen Farms on Walla to access cheap distilled spirits. If this mission is not available, Euterpe is still a decent alternative. Distilled spirits will continue to surge around Crusader. Take advantage of cheap scrap at Crew L1 if trading on a budget. Fluorine moving to Deacons and Grim Hex should start to ease off as well, 
making the run more advantageous for those sticking to it. And now for this week's trading tip. Beware the random friend request. Pirates and griefers can use your contact in the comms MFD to see their distance to you, allowing them to pinpoint your location without being in a party. Before accepting a friend request, make sure you know the person you're friending. That's it for this week's State of Trade. Until next time, keep on trucking.